Tesla is one of the world's gigantic and monstrous technology companies with a market cap close to $850 billion and with a mission to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy through its electric vehicles and energy products. One of the most recognizable vehicles manufactured by Tesla is the boldly designed and futuristic looking Cybertruck that is clearly distinct from all other pickup trucks in the world. So you may wonder, where is it manufactured? Actually, Tesla has developed an insane $1.9 billion Cybertruck steel factory in Austin, Texas to manufacture its Cybertruck, electric semi-truck and Model 3 and Model Y vehicles. It will be the company's fourth US factory, along with its vehicle assembly plant in California, a solar facility in New York and a battery plant in Nevada. Tesla also builds vehicles near Shanghai, China and is building a new factory near Berlin. The new plant is expected to eventually hire 5,000 full-time workers at an annual average salary of 47,000 US dollars. In today's video, we will be discussing the Giga Factory in Texas, along with a rare insight on what happens inside the manufacturing plant. So without any further delay, let's dive right into the video. News about Tesla Cybertruck Tesla's market valuation continues to skyrocket as the company slowly ramps up annual production. Whilst it's easily the most valuable automaker, it produces just a fraction of the vehicles sold by Detroit's Old Guard, including Ford and General Motors. That could soon change if current rates hold, and Austin joins the likes of Berlin, Shanghai and Fremont, California. Tesla Giga Factory to ramp production to 500,000 cars per year, Tesla alone will require today's entire worldwide supply of lithium-ion batteries. The Tesla Gigafactory was born out of necessity and will supply enough batteries to support Tesla's projected vehicle demand. Today, the Gigafactory produces Model 3 electric motors and battery packs, in addition to Tesla's energy storage products, Powerwall and Powerpack. Now, before we proceed to discuss the amazing Tesla steel factory, let me give you a quick review about Tesla's Cybertruck, because understanding the build and design of the Cybertruck will give you an idea about tons of hard work that goes into its manufacturing. Quick review of Cybertruck. Cybertruck is designed to have the utility of a truck with sports car performance. Built to be durable, versatile, capable and high performance, the Cybertruck is a fully electric truck that comes in three variants, including a single motor rear wheel design, a dual motor all wheel design and a tri motor all wheel design. The top tier tri motor design, according to Tesla, will be able to do 0 to 60 in less than 2.9 seconds. Also, the tri-motor variant has a towing capacity of 14,000 pounds. This is a lot even by most truck standards. The Cybertruck is designed to seat six people, which is a lot for a truck. Usually trucks allow four to five people to be seated. It's corrosion resistant, strong and affordable. That's why the Tesla Cybertruck team chose a stainless steel alloy to create the Cybertruck exoskeleton. Built with an exterior shell made for ultimate durability and passenger protection, Starting with a nearly impenetrable exoskeleton, every component is designed for superior strength and endurance, from ultra-hard 30X cold-rolled stainless steel structural skin to Tesla armor glass. Elon mentioned during the product launch that the exoskeleton material of the vehicle is the same as the SpaceX Starship shell. That brings us to the manufacturing site for this giant truck. $1.9 billion Tesla Steel Factory just recently, Tesla earlier announced that it will need 10,000 new employees for the factory in Austin, Texas through the year 2022. The factory will need 5,000 middle-skilled jobs, according to a tweet by Musk. The Austin plant will produce the Cybertruck and Model Y crossovers for customers on the East Coast. It's reported that Musk said construction has already begun on the 2,000-plus acre site on the Colorado River and close to Austin Bergstrom International Airport, and that the factory will be open to the public and is going to basically be an ecological paradise. Steel Dynamic Incorporated, Sinton, Texas Mill The Tesla Cybertruck's first customer deliveries may have been moved to next year, but this does not mean that facilities that would be supporting the production of the all-electric pickup are not inching towards completion. Among the most notable of these facilities is Steel Dynamic Incorporated's upcoming Sinton, Texas Mill, which would be producing the steel that would be used for the body of the Tesla Cybertruck. Drone footage from Steel Dynamics Sinton plant showed that the facility is coming to form. Similar to an update video posted by the company a few months ago, the August flyover featured several more structures emerging from the ground and far more machinery being installed in some of the site's key areas. Steel Dynamics did not provide specific details in its August flyover, but the message was clear. The Sinton, Texas plant was progressing quickly. Unique Tesla Touch 
Steel Dynamics, Sinton, Texas Plut, would play a key role in the production and ramp of the Cybertruck. But that's not all. The facility would also be tasked to produce the steel used by Elon Musk's private space enterprise SpaceX for its Starship program. Interestingly enough, Steel Dynamics Sinton plant is located practically in the middle of Starbase, Texas and Austin, Texas, where Tesla's sprawling Cybertruck Gigafactory is currently being built. It should be noted that the Cybertruck would not be using the steel produced at the Sinton, Texas plant directly. Tesla would still be redoing the steel that it would be taking from the Sinton facility to create the Cybertruck's exoskeleton. This suggests, at least to some degree, that the all-electric pickup truck steel components would have a unique Tesla touch. Steel Dynamics Sinton plant is estimated to cost $1.9 billion and it is expected to provide numerous good-paying jobs to workers in the area. The facility was also initially announced to start operations in late 2021. A brief history of Tesla Gigafactory Tesla Gigafactory Texas is an important project for the automaker. It is the first vehicle factory that Tesla is building from the ground up in the US. The automaker currently operates Fremont Factory in California, but it was first built in 1962 by General Motors and Tesla acquired it in 2010. It took a lot of work to retrofit it for electric vehicle production and Tesla came to the conclusion that going forward it would be better to build a factory from the ground up. That's what it did at Gigafactory Nevada for battery, electric motor, energy products and to house panel Panasonic's battery cell production. For electric vehicles, Tesla also built Gigafactory Shanghai from the ground up. In each case, these projects are so large that they attracted a lot of suppliers. Now that Tesla is producing as many as 500,000 vehicles in Fremont, the Bay Area became a hub for automotive suppliers. Gigafactory Texas is expected to become an even bigger project with several high-volume vehicle programs being produced at the factory, including Model Y, Cybertruck, Tesla Semi, and more. This is now reportedly attracting several known Tesla suppliers. New job opportunities at Tesla Steel Factory Hiring efforts are ramping up for Tesla's future vehicle manufacturing plant east of Austin. Tesla had nearly 315 job descriptions posted on its website by publication time, which is up several dozen compared with late last month. Each description likely represents more than one job opportunity, and the positions listed on Tesla's website fell into a wide range of categories such as engineering, manufacturing, finance, human resources, design, and facility construction. The Palo Alto, California-based electric vehicle manufacturer is expected to begin production at the end of the year, and local economic experts say the recent uptick in Tesla's talent search was expected. An even greater wave of job creation will likely hit the metro in a few months around the time production kicks off. The Tesla Cybertruck is expected to enter its beta phase later this year, with mass production starting next year. This effectively gives Steel Dynamics more time to build out and develop its Sinton, Texas plant. And if everything goes well, Tesla may very well find itself with a reliable steel supplier that could keep pace with the company and the potential demand for its unique designed all-electric pickup truck. Conclusion By adding Texas to the mix, Tesla will have a more centrally located factory in the US. Additionally, Texas is considered truck country and has a huge appetite for trucks, so this decision makes perfect sense. Hence, there is no doubt that the Tesla steel factory will surely bring a lot of good fortune for the people living in Texas. And that brings us to the end of today's video. If you want to know all about the genius features of Tesla Cybertruck, you can watch a full video on our channel where we cover all the latest updates and crazy features of the Cybertruck. Thanks for watching.